Hey guys, James from Petway Family Farmstead here. Appreciate you coming out to the channel. This is part two in our quail, Coternix quail series. Part one we did was incubation through day one. We'll link that above so that you can watch it. It came out uh, several weeks back. This is part two. This one is going to take you from the same batch that we hatched out from week one up to week four, just to show you how... How fast they grow, guys. Coternus quail get fully grown at eight weeks of age. They are laying eggs fully grown. The females don't talk much, and the males are cackling away, but with a very nice harmonic harmonic sound. But this brings you week one to week four. So stick with us through this video and watch them grow, guys. How y'all doing today? This is Nathan with Petway Family Farmstead and today we are moving some quail to a family friend's house. We're giving them about 20 of our quail that's already hatched. Uh, so stay tuned and uh, we'll show you the ride and how they did and us moving them over. The quail in the back, they're doing good, nice and healthy. We're about to move them in here and uh, give a few of them a new home. So if you look here, here's our quail and here is the friend's brooder. And we're about to put some of these into there. Here, this pen's a lot more empty. This little brooder is, and now we done gave him a few quail. So, y'all have a nice day. All right, guys. Well, our buddy came over this morning, and we, his little brooder's a little bigger, so we're actually moving some more quail over. And uh, he and I just, uh, we, we work together on the quail, uh, raise them together, and then we'll split them up when they all get fully raised. We got 15 more out of here and put in his container he's taking back to his place and we'll raise them up when they get fully grown. Um, we'll divide them back out and uh, get the ratio right and see what's going from there. Uh, all right, guys, so uh, this is, Another one of this little quail pan I picked up the other day, cheaper than I could buy it. So we're putting hay in the bottom, we'll put chips on top, but we're putting hay in the bottom because it actually makes the chips go further. I'm gonna end up raising it up. Uh, I'll extend this to get it up off the ground uh, sometime in the next week or so. But putting that in, we'll go get some chips and add to the top of that. We're gonna put our 10 quail we got from Dave and Darcy, two seeders today in here, and we're also gonna get the quail Thank you that we're in the brooder inside and bring them out here as well. Yeah, stomp it down, land man, stomp it. Yeah, that's one way to do it. Here we're trying to lose our quail and we've raised in the house and hatched out the incubator. That will conclude all of our quail moving for today. <laughs> Alright guys. And all the little quail were nestled in their bed. Obviously guys, this is the red light, the heat lamps that are going. So we've got wind shelters on both sides, two heat lamps to give them heat. We'll get a count, it's a total of about 35 in there right now, I believe. That are right here, but we have a total from this last hatching, about 60 from this last hatching, plus 10 is 70 right now that are about three weeks old. They're just not all in this particular, in this particular um, brooder that we've just moved them to. <laughs> yeah, they're back here in the pen, baby. Look what happened when the leaves get on the top. 
Look in here. Wow. Look in here. Push him back. So get back. Get back. Fur balls. Get back. Get back, you little fur balls. Can I hold one? Yeah, get you one to hold. Get back, you little fur balls. Close the door. Close the door, Lord. Little chickens in there. What you got? Chick quail. A quail. Got to hold them tight because they'll jump out, won't they? Now this one, look at here, remember? This one, is this male or female? You remember? Female. Female because the chest is bejeweled. It's bedazzled. The females have the bedazzled chest, the speckled chest. The males, let's see, all these are female right up at the front here. The males will have a golden chest. The gold, There's a male back here standing up. There's your several quail Went around in here, guys. That's a naked neck, baby. There's nothing wrong with that. That's how it's supposed to look. It's a naked neck chicken. Look at it. It's supposed to have a naked neck. There's nothing wrong with it. She's fluffing up. Get her. Go pick the camera. What you doing? What you doing, baby, baby? Spreading it all around, baby? Yeah, but they won't move out of my way. <laughs> Do what? They're not moving out of my way. <laughs> Get your handfuls of hay and go over there toward the corner. And they'll move. Push them out, but just push them. Push them a little bit. Easy. And they'll, they'll move, sweetie. <laughs> Take your other hand and push them. Push them toward the other corner. Yeah, push them on around behind you. And then being nice, get them nicely. So there you go. All right, stack some hay up in that corner. Push them out of that corner there. Put some hay in there. Wow. Hey, please, This is a ground pen that they're in. So, stay a little warmer in here but it, uh, we do have heat lamps of course to keep them too when it gets dropped down we'll plug them in may not need it anymore but i guess we just do it out of goodness of our heart they're fully feathered but um see they're eating getting fat and happy four weeks old i'm gonna get one of our hoop coops built here and get them all consolidated into one all four week old birds and fix to be hatching out another batch here for real soon They'll trample them down. That's fresh shaving, so they'll get them in there. Pull them away from the feeder right there in the middle, too, baby. Just smooth them back out. See where they're bunched up into the feeder? Just stick your hand in and smooth them out so they can step on them. Okay. All right, come on back out, sweetie. Let them eat. Y'all eat up, ladies and gentlemen. Beautiful birds. <laughs> all right guys so listen uh we've had a wonderful day today wonderful evening with me and my grandbaby here if you like what you saw guys hit that thumbs up button there you go sweetie hit that thumbs up button consider subscribing to our channel for more good family content of what's going on around here hit that notification bell ding ding and slide to all so you catch all of our videos if you feel so led we love you guys and we will see you on the next video Bye bye